This episode was in no way paid for by MXR. We just like talking about pedals, okay? Is that such a crime? Don't be a baby. Watch the episode. You'll probably like it. Or maybe you won't. I don't care. I'm sorry. I, I kind of lost it for a second there. Here's the episode. On today's episode, I get to help release a brand new MXR pedal into the world. It's never been seen, really. I mean, a few people have seen it, but it's brand new, and uh, it's in this box. Here comes the box. had the privilege of releasing a lot of really cool pedals for friends and different companies in this industry and this is going to be a really fun one to show you. It is the MXR Poly Blue Octave. Uh, I'm going to go over the feature set in just a second. We're going to jam on it but basically what you need to know is it's very very cool and it offers people who love octaves up and down and all the features that surround that type of tone and player a lot of things in a small package. So what I instantly think of with this pedal is if you love the pog or the micro pog, this is like that really jazzed up. Then you have the ability to do one of my favorite sounds ever, which is the nice octaves within the whammy. I love the octave up settings and I feel like this does that well. And then inside of this, we have a fuzz switch, which we'll go over. It is a blue box style fuzz. So you end up with that amazing fuzz pedal in here with the octaves down, two octaves down or up. It's really incredible. And the design team here at MXR, they're really brilliant. They've done things in the DSP world like the reverb that so many people are familiar with. And kind of heading over that is George Trips of Way Huge. You saw us release the Atreides and you're familiar with classics like the Green Rhino. So all that said, let's jump into the features so we can play some music so you're not bored. I don't want you to be bored. We have six control knobs and two buttons. First though, in and out jack, and then you have an expression jack. So the expression jack can be used in two ways. You can use an expression pedal. I have the Dunlop X8 here. I'll explain how to use that when I use it in a jam. And then you can also use any tap tempo foot switch and that will activate the fuzz. So that's really cool. But let's go through these controls in order. We have dry. So this is the amount of clean, unaffected signal you're mixing in with all the octaves and all that stuff. Then we have sub one. Sub one is one octave below the note you're playing. And when you turn that up, you are mixing that in. Think of every control as a mixer fader. So if I don't want sub one, I just turn it to zero and that is the off switch. That's how that works. Sub two is two octaves below. So that's real thick, like chunky, chunky octave. Then we have mod. So mod is actually a phaser rotary that is really cool. And you can just activate it again, however much you want, put it in there. If you don't want it, turn it off. If you turn all the other controls down, you can just use the phaser alone. That's pretty cool. Octave plus one is one octave above. So your note, one octave up. Mix it in like you want. Two octave up is two octaves up. You get the idea. So yeah, use the knobs like a mixer, put how much you want in and then move on. And you have a fuzz push button here, which I'm about to use with this. It's exciting. When you activate that, you get the blue box sound and then you have a mono button. The mono button removes the polyphonic ability of the pedal. Polyphonic means when I have this pedal on, I can strum multiple notes. I can strum a chord and it will read it really well and move it all up. When you go to mono though, it needs, it wants, it wants more than it needs one note. Uh, so think synthesizer lines, things like that. But by all means, play more than one note, freak it out. It'll gargle and make crazy noises and it's really fun. I think we should jam. I'm gonna use the mono mode because I wanna start off a little crazy. I wanna get out of the box. I wouldn't normally do that. So for you, I'm gonna just jump right into this mono thing, do something crazy. I'm gonna turn all the octaves up. I want it all. Sub down one, sub down two, octave up one, octave up two, no mod. And I'm gonna activate the fuzz with this for a solo. And today I'm gonna use MXR pedals because they're awesome. I'm gonna have a carbon copy delay that I turn on for a nice kind of ambient in the rhythm though, hitting with the drums. 
and I'm gonna have the sugar drive. The sugar drive is a clon, but nobody wants to accept the fact that it sounds amazing and you should buy one. I'm gonna use it all day today. I'm gonna drive you crazy with it. Let's do it. What diodes does it have, Josh? It, it has diodes. It has diodes that work. It has, ones? it has the, it sounds just like a con, it has diodes in it. Okay. Copy, letting it run away. Nick, did you like the carbon I, copy? I loved it. it was and you know, you know what? I want to say this. We've never shown the bass player. We've never shown Addison. He kind of earned this, I guess. We yeah. can take it away at any moment, though. Yeah, right? any moment. At any moment. Addison, you did pretty good on camera. Thanks. Yeah, but you can lose that. You make one wrong move, it's over. Punk. Okay, son. For this jam, uh, I'm not at all gonna play around with the my iron lung thing because that'd be cheesy i'm not at all gonna do like the full octave up toe down thing that i've done for 25 years i am gonna do that i'm being sarcastic so we're gonna do that i'm gonna add the octave two and i'm gonna use this without a lot of the frills i'm just gonna let it do the octave up one and two and i'm gonna combine it with plate reverb on here like a dark mystical plate like if plate reverb was like attached to a giant, like an alien giant lord ship, and as it blasts forward, the plate is somehow, you get it. And then I'm gonna use the sugar drive. Did I mention the sugar drive is literally like a really accurate clon thing that nobody seems to care about and it bothers me and I just don't understand why it doesn't get enough attention? Have I, men have I mentioned that? You mentioned it. I did, okay. So let's do this jam. Yeah.
was good jam. Nick, uh, your your snare is a little chunky. Is that like a kick drum? Do you have? Are you using an octave down? No, 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 no. I'm using a, a Black Beauty. It's a it's a built real thick boy. I can't tell if it's the kick or the snare hitting, and it's throwing me off. I liked your old sorry. snare. The old snare was like, hey, it's a snare. This is like, I don't know. I'm sorry you feel that okay. way. Okay. Why don't you stick to pedals? Sick burn! Okay. This next jam, I'm gonna use the expression pedal feature, and it's super cool, it's super easy and intuitive, and yeah, it's so easy, Nick can do this. Sick burn! You plug it in, right? There's a jack. Now here's the thing, a lot of times with expressions and presets, you gotta hold buttons, you got dip switches, you gotta sync it with your cell phone, you gotta pray to it. There's like weird stuff that happens. None of that, look. Hill down, right, hill down. I'm just gonna set it where I want it. So in this jam, heel down is simply gonna be the sub octave. That's all I'm putting on. And then all I do, toe down. Now watch this, really complicated. I'm gonna turn on some of that rotary phaser and I'm gonna turn both the octaves on. I just set the presets. Wow. So we're gonna do a jam. I'm gonna start with the hill down. We even mounted a camera to the ceiling. It's kind of rigged, it might fall on my head. I don't know if I'll survive this, but we'll see. I'm gonna use some spring reverb from the MXR Reverb, fantastic spring. It even has the drip. And then I'm gonna use the sugar drive. Have I mentioned the sugar drive yes. is a Klon? It's yeah. a really affordable, uh, easy to find Klon that you sounds really perfect, yep. but it doesn't get a lot of attention. I don't understand. Have I mentioned that today? Pretty cool, super simple, intuitive, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, and I, I forgot I was that good at jazz, honestly. I forgot we were that, we we're a good band. I'm I was impressed. We we're a good band. I have a, oh, my phone's ringing, hold on. Hello, Bradford Marsalis? Yeah, we'll, we'll turn with you. His name's actually Branford Marsalis. Josh got his name wrong. Words is hard. Words is hard. This last and final riff, uh, we're, I'm, we're gonna go for a style of music, a genre, a sound, an emotion that this pedal was made for. I had a conversation with George about why they designed this, and they designed it to harness the feelings of vampires. And this is gonna be vampire anthemic rock with riffs. And that's where we're going with this. This is. If you want that sound, number one reason to buy this pedal. I'm gonna lean heavily on the fuzz sound. I'm turning every octave to 50%. 50% of four octaves means you have 200% octave. Do the math. It's 50 times four, 200. Anybody? It's fine. Vampire riff rock coming at you strong. You're not ready for this. You've never heard anything like it. I'm gonna have the mod on. It sounds just like a cathedral in the woods, when it's raining, while a vampire is sucking the blood out of a victim, it's dark, there's bats, there's wolves. You can hear the wolves. Wait, you hear the wolf?
been really fun uh, debuting and releasing this brand new MXR pedal out into the world. It's a real honor to help our friends out there. I love what MXR is doing. I love the stuff that they're coming out with. I love everything that George works on. So this is really, really fun. So check it out. Uh, at 199, it's an incredible pedal. It's a true versatile multi-effect thing with the rotary, the phasing, the fuzz, the expression options, the tap tempo, turn the fuzz on option, four octaves, all you'll ever need. So it's super cool. Honestly, it's probably too much for most of you because you're not even good at guitar. Sick burn. So what I encourage you to do is in the link below, we have a really cool opportunity for you. If you click through, you can get a 30 day subscription to Guitario where you can take some lessons. And honestly, if I'd had this, I wouldn't be playing bullcrap jazz, vampire music and nineties riffs. I like, I would be more accomplished. And I'm just trying to pass that hope on to you because you don't want to end up like me. You're sitting there right now and 20 years from now, you'll be like me and I don't want that for you. So click the link. Go through there, check out the lessons. There's some incredible instructors. Rob Scallon, I set the world's largest pedalboard record with him. He's on there. We have Pete Thorne, who's toured and been on sessions with all kinds of people, insane player. And then even Yvette Young, another friend is on there. She's incredible. So check that out. It's 30 days free. What do you have to lose? Get this, get the lessons, and then you'll be on tour with like the Beatles next month or something. Let's go to record time. Today's record time is brought to you by 2002's Audio Slave Self-Titled. This was the convergence of Soundgarden's Chris Cornell with Rage Against the Machine, who did not have a singer at the time. It's really cool. And the reason I picked it is Tom Morello. Octaves, whammies, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, the pedal that we just played is super fitting with this style of music. If you love riffs, if you love massive drum sounds, just incredible use of effects. Check this out. If you're not familiar with Audio Slave, they have several records. You should be a fan. If you're not a fan, I forgive you. It's totally fine. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this brand new MXR release. Go check it out. There's a lot of other demos, people who played the guitar much differently than me. You probably enjoy them more, honestly, and I'm okay with that. So if you did like this, hit like, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get notifications of every future episode. There is a link in the description. You can go join us at Band Lab and you can jam along with every single jam. You can do what you want. Like you could make an album out of our music. You could use all of this for free and become famous and stuff. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. You probably won't though. That's fine. You probably won't do it. And we've done it for no reason. We're just like sharing our heart and soul and nobody cares. Nobody wants to jam with us. Nobody wants to jam. Cool. I think we should be done now. Yeah. I just wish more people would jam with us. I know. It's fine. See y'all.